If you ask anyone here which game they're playing right now, they probably say The Witcher 3. Congratulations, Conrad, for this really epic, beautiful and intense game. Thank you very much. It's, I must say that it was the hardest three and a half year of my life, but also the most rewarding. And till the end, we, we fought very, very, very hard. And right now, we uh, getting feedback from people and uh, doing a patches and fix, uh, doing you know last fixes. And yeah, it's great. It's a great feeling that that we already release it and and that people like it. It's it's, it's awesome. In that in that regard, uh, specifically, in which point do you think you are in the post-launch process and getting the success feeling? I mean, you know, the, the best feeling uh, for me is the um, information from fans and from players, uh, how they like the game, what they like in the game, how, how the uh, story uh, play with the emotions, how, uh, how they, you know, react for the choices and for the consequences of, of these choices, and uh, how they like the open world because uh, it was uh, a huge challenge for us it was first time we we went to the open world and to the free platforms of course uh, and you know i'm i'm really happy that uh, that it worked out and, and people like it it's uh, right now we are in the moments that there are last fixes there are some some small disappoints, uh, disappointments in the in the storyline. Uh, some people want to get more trees than the NFR, and we're into thinking how, what we can do to you know to to, to, to make it work. Uh, and really small polished stuff, uh, which uh, which which is really good because uh, with this size of the game, uh, it's not possible to you know to not get any bugs in the game. It's 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 too hard, and, and actually we manage it quite good. One of the things that, that has been prized about this game is the variety and depth of the side missions. How did you work on that to, to get this feeling and this really nailing it? No, it, was, uh, it was hard work and uh, I would you know, uh, lie if I say that we got some, uh, some golden recipe for it. It's not like this. It's, it's a hard work and uh, it's iteration job. It's, uh, we plan, uh, first of all, we, we decided that, uh, that we will not do the repetitive missions, right? And, uh, and we done everything to avoid uh, copy-paste situations. Even in the smallest, um, smallest parts of the stories, like uh, I'm speaking right now about the points of interest. This is the points in the world where you can uh, fight with the monster, you can go to the dungeon, you can uh, find the treasure chest and so on. Even in, in these points, uh, our designers and uh, environmental artists put something unique. Uh, some small letter uh, with some small story, some books, some dead bodies, some, some uh, environmental uh, place which telling you the story when you see it, right? And uh, thanks to it, um, all of these, uh, all of these uh, points, which uh, originally based on some templates, uh, because it's not possible to to, to do uh, as many, you know, uh, as much um, custom stuff, because it wouldn't be possible to to do in this time and to debug it. They based on some some templates, but you don't feel these te templates. You don't de you don't feel this systemic approach. It's uh, everything feel custom. Everything uh, give you the feeling that. Uh, that you get uh, unique stories everywhere and you feel rewarded when you're exploring the world and, and finding these places. And um, this is our recipe, to always uh, think uh, from the perspective of, of, of the story and putting something unique to the side quest, main quest, minor quest and, you know, and, and points of interest. It shows that uh, that uh, it works and people like it, and they they, they don't get bored uh, fast with the game. It's cool. You also mentioned several 
inevitable bugs or issues in such a huge game. Uh, for example, one of the uh, criticism uh, has been on the game feel, uh, maybe the first hours of the game, the way uh, Geralt uh, uh, interacts with the environment and with the horse and with the grass. And How would you improve that in the future? Well, there are few things you can improve. The first thing is that uh, we already improve a little the interactions. This is the system which uh, targeting the object you want to interact with and there was some bugs and uh, we would uh, change it a little to make it work better and we uh, should use uh, more physics uh, in the game to interact with foliage, with trees, with other things uh, in the game but uh, uh, I will be honest we uh, we plan to do, uh, do it in the game but uh, we got only uh, three years and we moved the release date twice uh, we need to uh, release the game on time we uh, you know put a lot of effort to to uh, fix you know fix the bugs we, we found in the game and uh, we just need to resign from some stuff in the game and uh, in the future for sure we will do it uh, and we was uh, we were in the very uh, difficult moment because uh, it was the moment of changing generation of the consoles right and uh, till the uh, one and a half year of, of uh, development we didn't know what specification of the consoles will be there uh, and we need to you know our programmers need to adjust the technology to the consoles when they uh, were released uh, and everything was in huge rush to, to do and uh, and yes we, we done some compromises but uh, it was on purpose to to release this game this year not next year right uh, storytelling as a tool for making open world games that's the title of your speech I'm sorry we couldn't attend uh, what have you shared with the audience and young developers gathered here uh, actually I, I try to convince them that uh, if you if you're doing the games from the from the story point of view, and when you adjust the gameplay loop to the story, not the opposite way, uh, you can achieve something which is more immersive for the players. Uh, and uh, when you're putting these small stories to the uh, to the uh, all events in the open world, you're creating something unique, and uh, people uh, are not get bored with the open world. And uh, actually, that was conclusion of my presentation. And I went through the uh, all layers of the uh, of the open world we used in the in the game, and explained how it works and uh, which uh, which things are important uh, in these layers. And I think that's all. Do you play Gwent yourself? Do you think it could be released as a DCC dual game, as a car car game? I hope it will be actually. And yes, I'm huge fan of the Gwent. Uh, even when we, when I uh, do the reviews of the game uh, constantly, uh, I, I playing the Gwent all the time and putting my, uh, you know, my feedback to the to the guys who work on Gwent, and it was funny because uh, we got uh, the system of the TVs which are connected with the conference room when, where I'm playing and people seeing uh, what I'm playing too, and I like the Gwent a lot. And every time I, I played, you know, uh, two or three uh, Gwents uh, in, in every review. And every time, uh, my head of the studio coming to the, you know, to the conference, you again playing the Gwent. You should reuse the game. And I, what can I do? <laughs> you know, it's a part of the game. Yeah, but I love this game, and uh, and uh, guys done, uh, you know, uh, great job with it. It's 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 really addictive, but uh, it's cool because. Uh, it's not depend only on luck, but it depends uh, on uh, how you can cheat your opponent, uh, and it depends on your, uh, you know, if you are clever or not, and on your mind. And this is the the really cool stuff in the Gwent. Cyberpunk uh, 2077. Uh, I don't know if I can ask you about this, but uh, do you have any involvement in this development, or uh, is another team, or? Uh, this is the other team, uh, which uh, which doing the, uh, the 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 work on the on the cyberpunk. Uh, it's led by Mateusz Kanik, uh, the game director of the cyberpunk. And right now, I'm not involved in this project. Uh, maybe if they will need my help, uh, I will be involved. Uh, but for now, I'm also waiting and I'm trying to be as far as possible from the project because I want to play this game. And you know that the worst uh, thing uh, to be a game developer is that when you do a great game, which everyone loves, uh, you cannot play it. Because you review it so much time that you, you just cannot play it. You know. And I hope that I will be far from, uh, from Cyberpunk because I want to play it.
Yeah. Any final words for those many, many players playing uh, The Witcher 3 right now? Uh, guys, thank you for your, for your feedback. Thanks you, thank you for buying the game and support us. It's, uh, it's very important for us because uh, we are not a huge company. We, we, we are independent. You want to deliver you, uh, the games you, uh, you want to play. We listen for your feedback and uh, support us still and enjoy the game. Um, so you've been uh, releasing uh, some free DLC so far, which is pretty appreciated by, by the fan community, of course. But what can they expect from uh, in regard uh, regarding like uh, more uh, full expansion packs in the future for Witcher 3? Well, the expansion packs will be the uh, the whole new storylines uh, with all uh, elements uh, you got in the main story like the cutscenes, the new characters, um, the new items, uh, new cards of Gwyns and, 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 and many, many, many more. Uh, they will be quite long. The first expansion will be around 10 hours and the second expansion will be around uh, 20 hours. And I think it's possible that they will be bigger because it's always like this that when we plan, you know, uh, some time of hours it's, it's twice or, you know, something like this. But I'm not, I'm not uh, you know, promise anything uh, right now. Uh, and uh, even now, if you uh, sum up these 10 and 20 hours uh, and you compare it to The Witcher 2, it's almost the size of The Witcher 2. You know? And it will be cool. It will be new stories. It will be very emotional stories. And I think that people will be, will be happy. And the launch window for both is? Uh, the launch window for, for first expansion packs uh, will be, if I good remember, around September or October this year. And for second one, it will be first quarter of, of next year. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy your time in Spain, Conrad. Thank you very much. Every decision you make will bring devastation. Each choice will lead to a greater evil. Hey, hey, hey.